Hey y'all, it is Mike. I am doing a video entry. Well, really, I'm just doing a video. I don't need to be entered for the giveaway prizes, but I did want to do a, a video of support um, for Hobbs Horror. Uh, he is almost at 500, if not maybe there by now. No, he's at 486, according to the uh, little thing on my page. Sorry for the panting, noisy dog, but... She's old, and she's trying to get up on the couch. Get up. There you go. Lord, help me. So this is my girl, Brittany. I don't know what see. Say hello, Brittany. Hey, you. Yeah, she said so. Anyway, so, Hobbs Horror. Almost 500. That's amazing. Yeah, that um, words. Oh. Guilty. So now she turned the TV off. spit. It's I like this every day. Anyway, he asked for three questions. Like I said, I don't need to be a part of the uh, drawing. I just want to support this great channel. Um, such a supportive guy. Uh, always leaves awesome comments. Encouraging. Just really respect this, this guy a lot. So his three questions are kind of fun. Um, the first one is, what is your favorite Halloween memory? Um, I have a lot of fun Halloween memories, but probably my favorite one, or the one that stays with me the most, I want to say I was in sixth grade, and um, there was this big rumor going around the little bitty, I grew up in a town of 400, uh, on the middle of cornfields, so there was this big rumor that there were some devil worshippers that were going to get my neighbor Alice and another girl named Dana, who were like a couple years younger than me because they were virgins and they wanted to sacrifice them. Um, and this rumor spread through this little town of New Douglas like a wildfire. And uh, so that, that particular night of trick-or-treating was just really freaky because you're walking past these cornfields and they're rustling in the wind and you're thinking, oh, the devil worshippers are out there. And needless to say, Alice and Dana were nowhere to be found. Uh, their families had them in hiding. Um, whether or not any of that was true, we never really did find out. Nothing happened to Alice and Dana, which is good, of course. When nobody wants anything, but it really left a little bit of a mark um, on a lot of the uh, Halloweens after that. And, of course, there were other times where, like, it was snowing um, or, you know, we had to wear big heavy coats over our costumes, so it was all dumb. Um, what is my favorite Halloween movie that is not in the Halloween franchise? And I'm going to say Hellfest. Um, I know it's not exactly a Halloween movie, but it's set around that time. So, yeah, I love Hellfest. It's such a fun movie. Um... So it's a newer movie. There are a lot of movies set around Halloween or whatever, so I could, you know, several I could have picked. Um, and, of course, everybody loves Trick or Treat, but everybody's saying Trick or Treat, so I'm going to say Hellfest. Yeah, I like that movie. And the last one is, what was your favorite Halloween costume? I'm so old. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of choice of costumes, so, you know, everyone is a ghost. Um... I went as a dead businessman. Um, trying to think. My mom wasn't real creative. Uh, it was just her for most of my life. Uh, my dad died when I was pretty young. Um, I don't know, guys. Oh, you know, I do remember being a cowboy. I think that'll, that'll have to do, because my mom actually got me a cowboy hat, and I had this vest with fringe, um, like, you know, back in the day when Fringe was, yeah, never mind. See, I'm telling you how old I am. And then, uh, boots and some jeans and I had a little Western shirt. So yeah, either that or the year that I painted myself blue, but I was older then. Does that count? <laughs> painted myself blue and went as a Smurf. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I was blue for a long time after that. Anywho, so that is my entry. Um, horror Hobbs, or Hobbs Horror, I am sure that you're going to go higher and higher. Uh, and thank you for all the support, and good luck to everybody. Thanks. Bye.